It was December 22nd, normal day. I turn the TV on to get the weather and what's going on in the world. And they talk about this mudslide on Swan Pond Circle Road. And in my mind, I'm thinking, mudslide? What do you mean a mudslide? And then on my left, what used to be the lake that we used to fish in, a big lake, it's gone. My friends that are commercial farmers, their fields are covered in this stuff. They were huge. Ashbergs, telephone pole snap, people parked in just a shocked look on their face. And their house is gone, the road's gone. My name is Sarah McCoin. I live on Swamp Pond Circle Road in Harriman, Tennessee. This area, Swamp Pond, has been inhabited by my family. I'm the eighth or ninth generation. I can't remember. My, the first ancestors that were here, they started residing in this area about 1802. They were originally row crop, crop farmers. They had a dairy farm. Our whole property, our family's property, is on the Emory River side, which um, is in at basically ground zero, direct impact of the coal ash disaster. The sign says, beginning August 11, 2009, as TVA and EPA continue the recovery of the ash spill, we're bringing in larger hydraulic equipment to expedite the removal of the ash from the Emory River. And as far as the eye can see, that's all fly ash out there. It's everywhere. It's, I mean, as far as you can see, that's where those trucks are. They're driving on top of fly ash. Now we're into February 2010, um, 14 months after the spill. Our rivers are contaminated. Our air quality is contaminated. Coal ash is a hazardous material and it is a waste that needs to be regulated. It's hazardous to health, it's hazardous to the environment, and though we can't stop producing coal-fired energy plants overnight, we cannot afford to have a community or the environment devastated the way we are. 